Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I just want to show you how you can work offline in Overleaf. Unfortunately, their online compiler doesn't work if you're not connected to the internet. And the reason why it doesn't work is because Overleaf connects to their server to compile your documents and your projects. Therefore, you need to use one of these two options if you are offline and you want to work on your project. There are two solutions. One is Dropbox Sync and the other one is Git and GitHub integration. There is one caveat. It's important to remember that these two solutions only work if you have a paid account of Overleaf. They do not work if you have a free account. However, if many of you are watching this video and they are students at a university or researcher, you might just check with your university because your university might give you a free um, paid plan. Okay, so just be aware of that because these two things will not work if you don't have a paid account. If you have already created an account with your personal email, you can also add your affiliation to that account and if your university provides a free plan, a free paid plan, then eventually you can also upgrade your account without having to pay. Now that we have explained that, I will show you both ways. But in this video, I will mostly focus on Dropbox Sync. Why I will mostly focus on Dropbox Sync? is because I have already created a video on Git and GitHub. So I would just like to redirect you to my video here on YouTube in which I in detail explain how to sync your project with Git or GitHub. So if you want to have a look at that, I will put here a card at the top so you can just click here on the link and you can see how to do that. Otherwise, in this video, I will mostly focus on Dropbox Sync, okay? So I will show you all the steps that you need to take, all the things that you need to do and how you can sync your project and I will also mention the limitation of Dropbox Sync. If I can give you a suggestion, please use the integration with GitHub. I think it's much more powerful and it's much more versatile because you can share your um, local repository with other people, you can keep track of changes using the version control, which I think is amazing. However, is a little bit more difficult to learn that approach and you need to have a little bit of knowledge about how Git and GitHub work. If you follow that path and anyway, if you want to compile your document locally, you will also need a later compiler. This is both for Dropbox option and the GitHub integration. And again, my um, in my opinion, the best solution to work on your um, latex document uh, offline is to use Taxify, which is a PyCharm plugin. However, again, this could be a little bit more advanced and uh, I would really recommend you to spend some time to learn how to use Taxify in PyCharm. It's not so complicated, but uh, it requires a little bit of... Um, it, the, the learning curve is a little bit steep, especially at the beginning if you have never used it, but you will see that it has massive benefits. And if you want to learn more how to set up Taxify in PyCharm, you can just have a look at this video here that I've uploaded on YouTube, and again, I will put here at the top a card where you can just access that video. Let's go back to working offline in um, Overleaf and we are going to use Dropbox Sync. So I will show you all the steps that we need to do. So first of all, we just need to go to Overleaf. Here at the top we have account and then we have to go to account settings. Here we just have to link our Overleaf account with Dropbox. How can we do that? We just have to click here in link to Dropbox. We just have to agree. And this will sync our Dropbox with Overleaf. So once you have done that, you just have to go to your Dropbox uh, account. You can do it both locally, and I will show you both locally and online. So if you go online, I'm accessing my Dropbox account. Inside here, you can see that inside Dropbox, application. For you will be application, for me is applicazioni, just because my Dropbox account is in Italian. And then inside you will have Overleaf. And here I have all my projects, 
okay, sync with my Dropbox. And I have these projects also synced here on my computer because I have installed the Dropbox client. So as you can see here, all my projects are also synced here on my computer. The first time you're going to do this is going to take a couple of minutes just because Overleaf will take a little bit of time to sync all the project across and we'll have to send all the files across to Dropbox. It also depends on how many projects you have. So let me split this tab. Let me just open this one on one side and this one on the other side. So let's go here into one of my Overleaf projects. So let me just collapse this tab and just uh, reduce this, uh, this window here. So here we have the PDF on the left. Uh, let me just actually turn off track changes. So here I'm inside the YouTube, the YouTube project, uh, which is YouTube Get Started Later. Okay, and I can find, of course, uh, the same project here on my local computer. So here I have the same file, which is main. So in this case, I'm going to open it with Notepad++. You can open it with Notepad. Or again, if you want and you want to have a look on how to set up Textify, I think that's the best way. Of course, you can also use any other later compiler, for instance, MKText or text maker. Those are also very good tools. But since you will have to learn how to use those tools, just maybe it's better that you spend some time on learning how to use Textify because it's much more powerful, because also you can have a side-by-side -side Python code, R code, or any type of code side-by-side -side to your LaTeX file, which is going to be great. Also have another video, which I will put again the link in the description here, if you want to get started with the Elsevier template. But let's go back to the Dropbox syncing. So here we have our file, and we can say that we have document class article, we have use package uh, in protect, and then we have the same document here on online as we have it here locally. Let's just close this project online for a second. We just uh, turn off the internet connection on my computer. So here I'm going to be disabling or disconnect my Wi-Fi, okay? Because I just want to show you how you can work offline. I mean, that's the whole scope of this video. And if I just go back to uh, the last open tab, of course, I cannot reach this, uh, this uh, window because uh, I'm offline. So let's go here and modify this file. So we are just going to copy and paste it, and we're going to add a new section. The new section is going to be methodology. So again, if you're not familiar with LaTeX, this, the scope of this video is not just actually to teach you how to use LaTeX and how to add a new section. It's more about how to integrate Dropbox with Overleaf. But basically, if you want to add a new section, you just have to use this command uh, section and then uh, curly braces, and then you just have to put the name of the section. And this, uh, we can say, uh, we can change the text saying this uh, is uh, our methodology. So we can just save this file. Of course, this file will not be synced yet with uh, Dropbox because we have turned off the internet connection. So let's turn again on the internet connection here. So I'm just going to be activating my Wi-Fi again. Great. Our file now has been synced. So we can go back online and we can just open the Overleaf. YouTube Get Started LaTeX. As you can see, this has already been synced because when I look online, it says last modified a few seconds by you. So if I click here, the project will open again, and now we should be able to see the methodology section inside. Yeah, fantastic. So as you can see, as soon as we connect our computer to the internet, then we also have the methodology section. And this is fantastic, because we have synced, and unfortunately, yeah, I have the methodology section again, twice, but now the, the, the project has been synced automatically. So this is great, and I haven't shown you how to compile a document locally. 
But again, just please refer to my, my video or just check online or check here on this website how to getting started with LaTeX and getting LaTeX and how to compile your document locally. If you don't want to use Textify, you can use TextMaker or MKText and it's explained how to compile it locally here. In this video, we just show, I just show you how to change the document locally and reflect the changes online. Before concluding this video, I just would like to talk about the limitation of Dropbox syn synchronization. So there are a few issues with Dropbox synchronization, which you must be aware of. And these are the major issues with Dropbox synchronization. So the first thing is that if you remove a file from Dropbox, all the files will also be removed from Overleaf. But the project will still remain, but all the file will, be, file will be deleted. So just be extremely careful about that because if you delete the file locally, it will also be deleted online. And be cautious when you rename or move a project in Dropbox because this can create synchronization issues. Unfortunately, Dropbox does not allow the app folder to be shared. So each of the people working on that uh, specific paper will have to do the same thing if they want to work locally, but you will not be able to share, uh, let's say, this folder here on my computer with someone else uh, because uh, um, I cannot share it because this can only be owned, this file can only be owned by me. Then there is a limitation on the project names, uh, which shouldn't be a big problem. So it should not contain columns uh, or slashes. Uh, and uh, they should not contain any characters which are not supported by window. And uh, another issue that you might face uh, when you are doing this synchronization, especially for the first time, uh, is that when you go into your uh, Overleaf account, uh, you cannot have uh, more than one project with the same name, even if the project is in the trash folder. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go here, we can see that each project has a unique name. So if you have in the trash project folder some files which have the same name, for Overleaf is not a big problem. However, this is going to cause some issues with uh, the Dropbox synchronization. So just make sure that you don't have the same project or two projects with the same name. Thank you very much for listening. If you found this video interesting, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. It really helps a lot, especially because my channel is quite new and is still growing. In addition, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down under the video and I will try to respond to them as soon as possible. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time.